Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to take the electric imp and add a Nokia 5110 LCD display. Hey guys, welcome back. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Eric. Today I'm going to show you quickly how I took the Nokia 5110 LCD display and added it to the electric imp Wi-Fi enabled microcontroller. For those of you who have watched my live broadcast, you've seen this electric imp set up before. For those not familiar, the electric imp here is a Wi-Fi enabled microcontroller contained in an SD card style package. The, the breakout board here is just for interfacing it and powering it here via USB. All the programming is done over Wi-Fi, so uh, we don't use the USB for that. Uh, the Nokia 5110, pretty straightforward. You guys have seen these on the channel before. My favorite LCD display for electronics projects. And I'll give you a quick look at how this thing works. Today we're going to use the Adafruit PowerBoost 500. I simply love this board, guys. This thing is great. It's a LiPo charger and power supply all built in. It's a boost converter, so it runs projects like these with no problem off your standard LiPo. Let's go ahead and plug it in. So the imp is now enabled on the Wi-Fi. And we have our message. This is a previous message uh, from Morwick, no doubt, from a, a live broadcast the other night I did on W5KUB.com. So this thing connects to my local Wi-Fi network. You program it with your cell phone. It actually has an optical interface. To, you just program the Wi-Fi network. And from there, it's really, really simple to hook up the Nokia 5110 LCD connections. I'll put an overlay on the screen of the overall breadboard. Uh, be warned guys, the breadboard picture may not be the same as your Nokia 5110, so I will include the schematic drawing as well. So using that schematic drawing, you can simply do the jumpers over to the Nokia 5110. I added one resistor, I didn't have to use the second. That, that's called out on the schematic as well as below, you're going to find a link to this code. It's just as simple as you copy and paste the code to the the imp agent which is their their server and then you also have the imp code that is actually downloaded to the imp itself to interface with the Nokia 5110. Electric Imp gives you a website that allows you to interface this and let's go ahead and try sending it a message and instantly we have the message on the screen. I'm really impressed with this setup. Great little microcontroller, really, really simple. Uh, I've been using this on the live broadcast as my messaging interface for people outside the chat. It's been well received. I'm actually going to tear this down tonight, guys, and we're going to move it over to something else. What we're going to do, guys, we're going to move away from that and we're going to go to a thermal printer. Uh, hopefully it doesn't get spammed too bad on our live broadcast, but uh, yeah, we'll see how long the paper lasts. We're going to hook the imp right to this instead of the LCD and it'll output via a nice little roll of paper and then I can see historically what has been messaged even though the LCD has been cleared. I'll have that paper record. Good luck guys in all your electronics ventures. I hope this helps someone in the future. Please uh, give the imp a try. Uh, if you find these videos useful, please consider a thumbs up down below. It really helps the channel guys. Talk to you next time.